All right, Stevie G. Your 6G6 basement is in standby mode. We are running some voltage checks. It's also the happy time we get to check the life of the caps here on board and see how the tubes are doing in their operating environment. So, let's get her off of standby and see if we could determine why this amp lacks the punch and crunch that you're expecting. Spoiler alert, I've already done this. Look at that. I hope it was you who just uh, threw those tubes in there, buddy, and you didn't pay for this. Just running some, uh, some bar napkin math. You're, you're looking at 25% max plate dissipation, which puts you well into uh, the ultra cold and chilly climbs where, well, you're looking at what? This thing's barely conducting, I bet. Let's get your volume all the way up on the base channel. Well, she's nice and quiet, but I expect it to be with the bias running at that level. Yeah, that's full up. I'm not worried about a four milliamp variance between the two tubes. Though I, they felt microphonic, and I say felt, but that's not a real measure. Just a little bit. Not enough to worry about. So, uh, the, this has not been biased. I hope you didn't pay for that. I hope you haven't, haven't paid for that. So pardon the indignant sound of my voice right now, but this is what I'm talking about. So, let's jump up here. And um, as I stated on earlier update about this particular amp. Let me get a, see if I can get a shot here, but I don't know, let, let this suffice for now. Oh, hell, Steve, I just moved the camera for you. So we're gonna have to adjust your bias, as you might have surmised. So let's do that. I'll let you know what I come up with. Bye. Let's get it going. What are we doing here? I'm here to play grab ass with a 6G6. It needs to be biased. That's for damn sure. I'm playing games here, son. The 15K. I'm gonna take our 15K. It's probably gonna have to be bumped up to 27K at least. But we're going to get out the old decade box here. It'll stand so it's not going to be sitting on any components in a chassis. Clip one and clip two. Where are you at? It's on 15K, so let's make it 15K, which is where it was, so boom, boom. Actually, let's do it like this, start over. Let's just make it 20K. And then we will warm her up. Get this hot mama cooking. Remember, it was at like 14 milliamps before. So that's 20K. Let's bring her up to 30K. 
Now we're cooking. Starting to cook. Now we're starting to cook. So we want to bring her up another 10 milliamps, uh, six to 10. So we're at 30 K. Let's try like 33 K. And that's pretty close to where she should be. So let me see what I have on hand. Otherwise I'll just put a pot in there. No big deal either way. Bye. Remember how I said 33 K? Boop. Nice. And this is where we're gonna hover because we want to take into account that one of the tubes is running a little bit warmer than the next. I like it. We're going to make sure there's no creep there. I'll be happy if this thing lands on anything below, like at 43 or below milliamps, so. I'm going to let her burn in. No, I'm going to test these astrons out. Bye. All right. It's not cool. Not cool at all. All right, so let's see if these guys are leaky. Am I expecting them to be? No, I'm not, but I want to expect them to be because they typically are. But I'm still going to get these guys out of here regardless. But this is just to satisfy my curiosity, so let's check it out. Let me uh, hook up the rig. Let's get her set up for a... Uh... A legit leakage test. We're going to use the Syncor for this, the Z meter, because this is what it does best. This will check the value and the leakage condition, if any exists, at working voltage. We're not going to rely on an ESR meter for this. This is mission critical. So let's get her set up. We'll do the first cap here. These are rated at 400 volts DC. So there's one. Awesome. So there's cap one. Let's get her turned on. Let me make sure that I got the right settings. All right, four and volts. Awesome. So we're gonna make sure that there's um, a number that's less than 20 that appears here, but let's first check the value. Pretty close. That's at 50 volts, no leaking. Let's bump it up to 200. No leakage. Let's go right to 400. Not bad, these are not leaking. This one isn't. But it's gonna. I'm gonna test the ones in the tow circuit as well. All right, value. 
Not bad. Go right to 400 volts. Another guy's not leaky. I like it. So these caps are fine for now, but they're they're going to short out. I gotta change them. All right, and it was sweeping from about 10 hertz all the way up through about 800. Wow, super healthy now, buddy. Let's check out that uh, previously silent bass channel. Let's see if we're getting any more volume. I'd say so. six you just get more saturation that's with the master around on around three or four but yeah